This is Brad from Attitude RC. Today we're going to build a wireless buddy box for our uh, Tyrannus receiver. A couple things you need. Um, old servo lead. And I just kind of cut that one off. Um, 2.2K ohm resistor. And this one's just a real small low wattage one. That's all you need. A receiver with PPM out. And this is just a cheap one I got from, um, I think, um, Banggood. And it's DSM, DSMX. You're going to need wire strippers, some snips, and a soldering iron, and a Phillips screwdriver. So get all your stuff together, and uh, I'm going to crack this uh, receiver apart, and we'll start showing you where to hook things up. Okay, I've cracked the Tyrannus, and um, this is the back side of the um, receiver um, with the uh, transmitter module in it. But this is where we're going to be making our connections, and let me see if I can get this in a little tighter for you here. And our connections are going to be made right here will be our negative. Right here's our signal wire, and we're going to put that 2.2K uh, resistor on the signal wire. And then down under here, oh, let's see. see if you can see that. Just a little bit over here. Right here is where our positive is going to go. And that's kind of a tricky connection because um, you got to make sure you don't touch any of the other wires here. So that will be where we hook up our wires here from. And uh, on this particular lead, brown's going to be the um, brown's going to be the ground, red's going to be the positive, and the orange is going to be our signal. So ground signal, ground signal, and positive. I'm going to heat up the soldering iron and um, we're going to start soldering these together. Okay, two things we're going to do. Um, I'm going to solder on the resistor onto the signal wire and I'm also going to tin the tips of these of the wires so it'll make them easier when they when we solder them onto the board. So, I'm sure you guys just get it a little bit warm, apply a little solder. So, so there's some solder on each one. Now for this, we are going to solder that up nice and tight. I'll leave the end a little bit long here so we can work with it. That should be it. I'm going to um, slide the radio into place and we'll start making our connections. Okay, first we're going to tap this ground wire. And it should because there's solder on the, there's solder on the wire already because we tend it shouldn't take that much heat to get that to melt down onto the board. Probably can't see this great, but... Okay. That's on pretty decent. See that okay? Now, here's our other one, and I'm going to route this wire down underneath here so when it folds up, it's not in the way. Clips. And I'm just going to tin the end of that real quick. And the reason for the resistor is a lot of times. Uh, depending on which module you're using, 
if there isn't that little bit of resistance there when you do the pull down or when you uh, when you turn it on it actually will go into bind mode and uh, which you don't want to go into bind mode every time you turn it on that up just like that perfect and you can trim off that little excess if you want make sure you got a good sharp pair of snips which I don't obviously. There we go. Now the positive. Put that back down through here. Goes on to the second one here. Uh, it's probably can't see that. There. Put it on the second one right there. Solder that on. Quick. Just take a light touch. Make sure it's on solid. Feels good. Tuck it down. Now, to make sure those wires actually stay in place, there's a couple things you can do. Um, you can piece, put a piece of tape on them. Um, you can put um, um, you can put a piece of tape on them. Uh, you can put a little clip onto that screw. Um, what I'm going to do is actually just put a little dab of hot glue on there. It's not conductive, and it'll hold it in place nicely. Now, one of the reasons you use these particular mount points is because they're controlled by the switch, so it makes it. Uh, a little nicer so you don't have power on all the time. Just gonna put a dab of hot glue right there and a dab of hot glue right here and across that resistor. That way we get no no we don't have to worry about those wires breaking off. And you know what maybe put one more right here to hold it down on the board. I'll just let that set and dry and then the next thing is we're going to route this plug um, underneath the board now there's a little gap in there that you can run it down through um, a lot of people like to drill holes in the plastic I don't want to do that um, there's a gap between the board and the, um, the plug area in the back here that actually fits pretty decent just got to loosen up this, the mount screws a little bit so you can slide it under that side. So we're going to do that next. Okay, um, just loosen up this screw. Put a couple little turns on it. Just loosen it up, maybe a half turn. And then you can lift that board up enough to slide that wire right through there. Lift it up the other side. And uh, you can see, feeds through right here, and just pull it up through it tight. And you can leave quite a bit of slack in here. There's lots of room in here. Um, this way, you can still almost get a module in here. You can slide it back farther if you need to, and slide it in there if you need to eventually put a module in the back. I don't use a module in mine, so I really don't worry too much about that. Now, um, we're just going to put it back together, and it, it goes back together fairly easy. If you haven't taken one apart uh, uh, yet, there's a lot of how-tos online about how to do that. So, I'm going to put it back together, and then we'll, um, plug, in the, we'll plug in the receiver and uh, see how it works. Okay, so now we're going to plug in this, uh, plug in the receiver, and I'm just going to plug this into the battery for now. Um, well, I haven't bound this with anything 
or um, set it up yet so we're going to do that in another step. I'm just plugging in the battery. I'm going to put the bind plug in here um, so when we power it in we can actually see it blink. See the orange light blink. And I'm going to power it on. And there it is. It's getting power. You can hear my radio powering up. So now I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna bind this to the other radio, and um, then I'm gonna show you the programming inside the Tyrannus to get everything um, set up and configured for a trainer mode. But looks like it's working. Switch.